on our exotic baits today I'm going to show you rigging two sea lice on a dangle using chokka as a base okay pretty much all we require for it again it's going to be sinker preferably a pair you want a lot of movement in it power swivel five and six again a small little power swivel tuna circle 30 again we're fishing more for Granta, Stumpies, Pompano, small lessers, um, sand sharks, things like that, smaller fish. A very soft supple line, 16 kilo, very, very important. Latex cotton, a knife, and that's pretty much it. A little chocker hammer just to soften up our squid or chocker. You can also use pink prawn or red prawn if you want for this combination. I'm going to use chocker today. Okay, let's just start off by cutting ourselves some lime. Again, just snell the hook, quick and easy. Um, yeah, give yourself about six to eight inches. One, two, three. We're forming a figure of eight, as you can see there. And all we do is we just pull on it. There's your figure of eight form. Go through the back down towards the actual point of the hook pull it around slide it to where we want it to go pull tight and cut we're gonna make it quite short we don't want it to be too long this one so about 30 centimeters to 40 centimeters maximum swivel go one two three slide him down cut off the tag end sinker snooting again just about the same length so. Just attach our sinker to it. Okay. Now this is our completed trace. What we require for the dangle is a hair curler. And because we want, we want it to be negatively buoyant, we put a bit of foam in it, just to give it that little bit of lift off of the bottom. Got a little bit of Dacron over here that we're actually gonna stick the hook through. But there's a very small, very, to, very easy to make dangle. Hair curler, little bit of red foam, works like a dream. A lot of movement in the actual bait itself when it moves around when the fish picks it up so what we're going to do let's take our trace stick it there first things first let's clean up our area here I've got a little piece of squid or like I say prawn red prawn and all I want is a long thin piece let's just take this apart the head out. Turn it so that the skin is on top. Light bit of chocker hammer. You got big teeth and small teeth, you want the smaller teeth. And the reason being you just want to soften it up. You don't want to break it, you just want to soften it up. We then take, and this is the part I'm going to tie on, and make ourselves a little slit in it to make tentacles. Okay. 
over there. That is now going to go on the inside of that, over the foam part. So let's just take this. Okay. And again, that's going on the inside part of our dangle. There we go, there's our cotton. And we're just lightly wrapping it around the actual dangle itself. So basically you got two tentacles on either side of the dangle. We're going to take our sea lice and we're just going to de-shell it. Same with this side, we're just de-shelling it quickly. So there's two de-shelled sea lice. Now what we do is the first one, because we've got a very soft inside area, we're gonna take this and turn it upside down. Take the cotton and wrap it around. Okay, so that's it done over there we turn it over now this has got the harder part on it the, the actual spikes in that we're going to take that and stick that on top over there and we just squash it into that actual hair curler and we're just going to tighten this whole thing up now and it does become a bit messy unfortunately but now you've got so much smell coming out of this and if you have to, you can always add another sea lice to the actual mix. And guys, I'm going to actually do it. You can see it's slightly bigger than what I wanted, so I'm going to add another sea lice. So take him shell off quickly. There we go. And that's going to go like that. This is my ping pong ball bait. One more time. There we go. And then what we're going to do is just take our circle look. Untangle it there quickly. And that to rig it, all we're going to do is just go straight through the Dacron. Like that. And that's basically what the whole thing looks like. You've got these tentacles hanging out that the small fish can feed on. It lays on the bottom. You've got a lot of smell, a lot of blood. Um, juice basically if you look at my hands what it looks like and i tell you what any stumpy pompano any skate that might be around will jump on this brown skates in particular like it it's a very very good combo bait um, for catching a lot of your fish that are out there guys if you're going to use exotic baits like sea lice or prawns or, or crabs you need a permit. Make sure you get it from your local post office.